the main pond and uh, yeah I'll be using my Rapala Snow Icicle which is already 6 to 12 pounds it should be good fun uh, I kind of want to catch a bear Monday today so let's see how I get along uh, but yeah but before I actually get into today's video I'd just like to I'd just like to inform you guys that the D-Best main pond is actually having an ongoing event called the D-Best million dollar fishing from January the 3rd all the way until July the 3rd now how do I partake in this event or how would you all you guys have to do is actually purchase a regular main pond ticket from the mini mart and fish as per normal now if you guys are lucky enough to either catch a fish with a white tag or a yellow tag you'll be entitled to two different types of prizes as for the white tagged fish if you guys catch a fish with a white tag all you guys need to do is actually bring that fish over to the mini mart let them verify it and you'll be entitled to actually enter a draw which will be drawn in July for the top 30 prizes which include an electric car uh, Ducati motorcycle or Rolex watch, uh, many high-end reels, home appliances such as TVs and fridges and many other prizes. Uh, if you guys are lucky enough to catch a fish with a yellow tag, you guys are entitled to actually claim your prize right there and then as long as you bring that fish to the mini mart, let them verify it and you can put your hand in the box and dig out your prize. Prizes include for the yellow tag fish, home appliances, IT gadgets, fishing reels, follow bicycle, rods, lines, leaders and hats and whatever there is. I'm gonna put a link down in the description box below so you guys can click it and read it for yourselves and uh, yeah let's get back to today's video and uh, yeah good luck. Alright so the rod that I'm using today is actually the Rapala Snow Icicle which is the limited edition one it's uh, rated 6 to 12 pounds good fun if I can get onto some fish today uh, jig head wise I'll be using the decoy salt groove uh, 7 grams yeah size 1.0 with a 2.2 inch paddle tail so I'm over here at the Kampong side of the D-Best main pond uh, because I like to play the edges so what I like to do over here is just cast along the sides and uh, see if I can pick up any sea bass or some snappers uh, I'm over here with Nick today Nick is all the way on the other side hunting for some mangrove jacks I guess um, but yeah I'll probably walk to him and then uh, walk over here to my left because I know that this spot does hold some bear mandi over here on my left so I'll probably play slowly and try and find one or two fish like that uh, but yeah let's see how we get along all right, since I am going to be walking, I'm going to put on my mask again and then uh, take my boga. So my side is pretty empty, but since I am walking to a place where there are other people, I'll just put on my mask for now. All right, boga's with me. Let's go find some bear mandi. So just a little tip for you guys, if you are coming to the D-Best main pond and you intend to do some luring, uh, it's not wise to just stand at one spot and cast the whole day. So if you can, try and walk around the pond and uh, change up your lures, change up the weight of your jig heads, change up your presentation and the style in which you are working your uh, rubber or your hard-body lure. Because most of the time the fish are inside the pond, it's just you got to figure out what they want to eat and where they are hiding. So right now I casted a few times over here with the a uh, 2.2 inch pondler in the crimson pink UV color I got no hits so I'm just gonna walk like maybe 20 meters down to where Nick is standing and uh, try again I'm gonna go try straight at the net uh, I don't waste time if I get stuck, then I get stuck.
All right. Not bad. Oh. No, no, boga. No, 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 boga, boga. Oh. All right. <laughs> All right, guys. Here's another uh, nice MJ caught over here at the D-Best main pond. So I was casting near the net and uh, bouncing my soft plastic, and he hit it pretty hard. That's pretty good. All right, let's go ahead and release this guy. Took a while to find the fish today, uh, but we finally found them over here at the end of our session. Nice. Alright guys, so despite only catching one MJ today, uh, I would still say it's a pretty good session. I'll probably wait until the water clears up over at D-Best before heading out for another session to try to catch one of the tag fish with either a white tag or a yellow tag. Uh, but yeah, the, uh, the fish that I caught didn't have a tag, but that's alright. Um, so I'll see you guys in the next video.